Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Lucy from Lucy and Lentils and today I'm going to show you how to make your own backdrops like this. Many of you have been asking how I make my backdrops. Um, I get lots of inspiration from fellow foodies and photographers. It's so easy to do. All you need is a piece of plywood. The next thing that you need is tester pot paints. I got mine from b and obviously because it's not a sponsored video. So the colours that I've got mine in are called Fog, Charcoal and White Petal. The point that I'm making is that there are three different tones and it'll just give you a really nice sort of mottled effect on your boards. Let's get to it. So first you need your three pots of paint and a sponge. So simply take off all the lids and add a few dollops quite close to each other on the board and then just start to spread the general colours around. I start with the lighter to make sure that the sponge doesn't take up too much of the dark. Don't be afraid to kind of swirl them together. And then start adding in the darker tones. And I like to sort of splodge it all around. Then add some of the lighter dollops again, just keep adding a few layers. And a good tip is to put the dark right next to the light and don't mix it in too much just sort of splodge them together quite roughly. As you can see, it's not too blended and it just gives a nice sort of tonal effect. Yep. <laughs> and here's some of the outcome. And in true blue style, here's one I made earlier. I don't know if you can see, but I've actually used more pinky tones with this one. I really wanted to create like a warmer background because a lot of the backgrounds I use are quite cold. Take a look. So overall, I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm showing you the pink one whilst the grey one still dries. Thank you for watching my DIY video. Hopefully that has given you all some inspiration to make your own, save you a bit of money and have an excuse to get creative in your kitchen or in your home, wherever it is. If you'd like any more kind of videos like this, please leave a comment and let me know. I'm more than happy to share all of my DIY tips and tricks and how to save money and create beautiful photography. Thanks for watching, bye.